Hi guys, so today's video is about the Dell PowerEdge R710's integrated storage PCIe slot. I've had many customers buy HBA IT mode uh, cards from my eBay store to use in their R710 servers. And many people have attempted to install the HBA card in the integrated storage PCIe slot of the R710 with mixed results. Sometimes it worked and yet sometimes it didn't. So I got really curious as to why that was. And I got myself here this R710 server to see if I could figure that out. So to start, I'm going to install this H200 card right here that's already been flashed to LSI IT mode, uh, version P20. I'm gonna put this card in this server's integrated storage PCI slot, and I'm gonna show you what the invalid PCI card error message looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. All right, so where this riser one card is at the very bottom is a PCI slot that is a little bit recessed from the usual uh, regular PCI slots. This is the integrated storage PCI slot. And it's meant for uh, Dell storage controller cards. Uh, and it doesn't require, well, it actually requires that it doesn't have a normal PCI bracket, but instead it's held in by these plastic brackets that are mounted on the motherboard. And so I'm gonna go ahead and install this H200. Now keep in mind, this H200 will, uh, is no longer running Dell's firmware. It has the LSI uh, IT mode uh, firmware version P20. Now, one thing to note is that Dell's pretty particular about which cable goes into which port. So you need to make sure that the cable that is coming from port A of the backplane goes into port A on the controller card. And likewise, uh, the cable from port B of the backplane is going into port B of the controller. All right, so now that we've got that installed, let's go ahead and close this guy up and uh, fire it up. All right, so I'm gonna go to the back of the rack and plug in all the cables, and then we'll uh, turn this guy on. All right, so I've gone ahead and plugged in all the cables in the back of the server. Let's go ahead and power this guy on. So as you can see here, the machine now refuses to boot and has halted with the error message invalid PCIe card found in the internal storage slot. Now a lot of folks have speculated as to what causes this issue. Some have said it's because the card has LSI firmware on it instead of the original Dell firmware. And so in that case, it's simply not possible to run the LSI IT mode card in the integrated storage slot. Well, today I'm going to show you that that is not true. And in fact, we can fix this and make this LSI IT mode firmware work in the integrated storage PCIe slot. Now to do this, I need to move the H200 card into another machine so that I can modify it. All right, so in order to make this H200 with LSI firmware work in this integrated slot, I have to modify this card. And in order to do that, I'm gonna put this in my other machine that has my modification uh, firmware modification tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this out of the R710 for now. All right, so in order for it to go into a regular PCI slot, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bracket on it. And this is just for stabilization purposes because while I'm making changes to the card, I don't want it to accidentally move and disconnect from the system. So I've got a bracket here that I'm just gonna put on temporarily. All right, that should do. And this is gonna go into, you guys have probably seen this machine in my other videos. This is 
the machine that I call the flash that I use for flashing uh, all the HP cards that I sell and test them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fire this machine up and then we're going to log in on the terminal and I'll show you the next steps. Okay, so here I am on the terminal of the server. We just put the H200 in. Let me show you what it is we're going to change on this card. As you can see here, this card is identified as a LSI SAS 2008. And that's what the hex code 1000 uh, and 0072 mean, right? 1000 is the hex code for LSI and 0072 is the hex code for the SAS 2008. Additionally, you can see the subsystem vendor and product ID as well, which is this code here, the 1028 for Dell and 1F1C for 6 qubit SAS HBA adapter. What we're going to do here is change the subsystem product ID. So what is what you see as 1F1C right now, we're going to change that to 1F1E, which is the hex code for the PERC H200 integrated card. Right? This will allow the card to work in the integrated slot of the R710, even though it is running the LSI firmware. On Linux, you can see all the subsystem PCI codes for H200s like this. All right, so you can see that there are all these other codes for various uh, different kind of types of H200 cards. And the one we're going for is the integrated card, which is 1F1E. All right, so to make this change, we're going to read, the, read out the SBR, or serial boot record, which you can think of as the configuration settings of a PCI card. We'll modify it, rebuild it, and program uh, the SBR back into the card with uh, tools called LSI Rec and SBR Tool. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is unbind the driver from the card and halt it. All right, so we've now halted the, we've un, unbound the driver and released the card from the driver and we've uh, halted the card from running. Now we can actually manipulate it without worrying about it, you, you know, something going on while it's uh, being manipulated. So now let's go ahead and read out the SBR. Okay, next we're going to parse this SBR because it's in binary format right now into a text format so that we can edit it easily. All right, now let's edit the file and make changes to the subsystem product ID. Okay, so the subsystem product ID is right here. Currently it is 1F1C. And we want this to be 1F1E. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that change. And we don't need the SAS address in here, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that as well. All right, so now um, we're going to build a new SBR from this file. I'm going to call this H200-INT for integrated. All right, so here's the new SBR file. And let's write this back into the card.
Okay, SBR is written. So now what we need to do is reset the card and bring it back online and, uh, and we can confirm that the change actually took place. So I'm going to go ahead and reset the card. And let's see, the card is now ready. And let's rescan it. All right, now let's confirm that the change actually took place. Mm, okay, let's see if maybe I can. All right, so here we see the same card from the same PCI slot, 86. It is still an LSI Logic, SAS 2008, so those codes have not changed. The subsystem vendor is still Dell, but now the subsystem product uh, ID is now 1F1E, which is the PERC H200 integrated. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and shut this machine down, and we're gonna take this card and put it back in the R710. Okay, so I'm gonna take this H200 that we just modified, I'm gonna put it back in the R710, and we'll see if it works now. All right, let's take away the uh, PCI bracket we don't no longer need. And back into the integrated slot it goes. And of course, we have to make sure that we put the right cables into the right ports. So port A from the back plane goes into port A on the controller. And port B from the back plane goes into port B on the controller. All right, so there we have it. It's ready to go. Let me close this guy up. All right, so let's go power this guy up and see if it works. All right, so I'm here at the virtual console and I'm going to power on the system with the H2100 that we just installed and see if it boots. All right, so as you can see now, it's no longer showing the invalid PCIe card message and is now showing the usual configuring memory. We should see the BIOS post screen momentarily now. There, we are now seeing the LSI Avago Technology BIOS ROM loading from the card and it appears to be working in the integrated slot. Let's go ahead and let this thing fully boot up and I'll show you the H200 is running in LSI IT mode, firmware version P20. And you can see, it can see all the hard drives. All right, so let me go ahead and log in. All right, so you can see that it's still identified as a LSI Logic SAS 2008 with the subsystem vendor as Dell and now the subsystem product as the PERC H200 integrated. And if we look at the driver messages from the kernel, you should see we are right here, version 20.0.7.0. So this is running the LSI P20 IT mode firmware. So there you have it. That's how you get a SAS controller with LSI firmware working in the integrated storage PCI slot of the R710. It actually has nothing to do with the firmware itself, but simply the PCI configuration in the SPR just has to have a particular value. So this explains why some cards I've sold have worked and some didn't. 
H200 cards that were originally H200 integrated cards will already have the correct subsystem product ID, even after I've flashed the firmware to the LSI IT mode firmware. These cards will work in the integrated slot straight out of the gate. However, not all H200s are the same, and some will come with a different subsystem product ID, just like the card we saw in this video. In this case, we need to manipulate the SBR in order for it to work in the integrated slot. In light of this, I've made all the H200 cards in my eBay store work in the integrated slot of the R710. If you want one of these H200s for your R710, please check out my eBay store. I've got a wide selection of other IT mode HBA SAS controllers, so be sure to check those out too. I'll leave a link to my store for you in the description. If you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more videos from me, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.